Once upon a time, there was a princess and seven little dwarves. Four of the dwarves fell out of a tree and died. The princess and the other dwarves lived on and grew a farm of magical apple trees. Little did they know that the evil witch of the forest was their grandmother, who attempted numerous times to poison all the dwarves and Snow White. One day, as Grandma was walking through the forest to surprise her grandchildren with some candy apples, the little dwarves were picnicking outside by some regular trees when Snow White walked up. Well, hello, Happy. Hi, hi, Snow White. I'm having a dandy day. How about you, Snow White? I hope everyone's day is as jolly as mine. There's nothing dandy or jolly about today. Oh, Grumpy, cheer up, will you? And my good friend, Happy, you seem so happy. It makes me smile just to see all your squished, stout faces, so pudgy and wrinkly. I enjoy your presences. Are you calling me fat, woman? I ain't no fat dwarf. If you ate less candy apples and tasted a few of the apples from my lovely tree, by golly, by gee, you wouldn't be pudgy. You guys be quiet, please. I'm trying to sleep. I had too much sugar, and then I crashed. Sleepy, you unhappy man. Sugar is just wonderful. I love candy, and candy apples, but not regular apples. Oh goodness, you little dwarves are so pudgy. I shall go and fetch some healthy snacks for our little gathering. I will be back shortly, little darlings. Don't fill up on sweets. Oh hooray, here comes Grandma. Oh, Grandma seems to be in a bad mood all the time. It's as if she doesn't like us. Oh well. Be quiet. If only Snowy was here, the more the merrier. I don't like Grandma. She and Snowy always fight over us. I wish they would just let us choose our own apples to eat. Both of them make eating boring and troublesome. Hello, little people. I brought you some candy apples. You look too skinny. Eat up. Shouldn't we wait for Snow White? She's bringing us some healthy apples. No, 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 my little bizarre children. I thought you would enjoy some horribly good snacks before your other snack, right? We would definitely love some snacks, but... Just have one candy apple and you'll be all right. But I don't want another apple, for Snow White shall bring some healthy apples home. She says candy apples make me pudgy. I don't want to be pudgy. Oh, you are crazy! <laughs> candy is the best thing for children everywhere, and when boring green apples are smothered in sweet car caramel candy, it makes the apples even healthier. Okie dokie. What do you say, friends? We all love apples and candy. It's two of our favorite things in one. Okay, I guess I can hog down another apple, but I'm going to blame Sleepy for this shenanigan if Snow White gets upset. I'm serious. Yeah, it's time to party like only the magical tree knows how. He can shake his leaves like Shakira. Who wants a delicious, sweet, unhealthy, I mean, healthy apple, or even two? I want one... Billion, billion, trillion, quadrillion candy apples. I want one less than happy so I don't get too pudgy. Alright, little dwarfs, here you go. I must go now. What a horribly good party we had. Oh boy, this first candy apple tastes so good. Oh no! I think Happy's dead! Why do bad party ending things always happen to me? Enjoy your apples, little rascals! Did I miss anything? Hmm, looks like nap time for everyone. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What has ever happened to me three dwarves? Are they all sleeping? Oh, well they must be. Oh! What do we have here? An innocent little bit of candy apple? I guess a teeny tiny little bite won't hurt. Mmm, gee golly this is a good candy. 
The story began beautifully, but it had a bad ending. The three dwarves in Snow White got very sick because the truth was sugar-coated even though they got what they wanted. Snow White made it seem as though one candy apple will kill you and only healthy foods should be eaten. The witch's candy apples were so addicting that once the princess and dwarves got better, all they wanted were candy apples. The magical trees cried their sweet sap out because no one ate any of their healthy apples anymore. By the end of the fall, the family burnt down the forest in rage because the trees wouldn't satisfy their sweet. No more beautiful princesses and pesky little children would be able to pick apples fatuously anymore, and more importantly, no more apple pies could be made. All that was left of the forest were some ashes, many shoes, and three apples for three bad dwarves. Remember, children, don't sugarcoat the truth, even though the truth isn't always what one may want to hear.